High schools in Hubbard County came together today to learn the impacts of distracted driving and drunk driving. Our own Sherelle Moore shares the message for this week's Golden Apple. It was made to look and feel as realistic as possible. The mock car crash held at Park Rapids High School told the story about how one bad decision can change a life forever. The mock car, car crash is a, uh, well, exactly what it sounds like. It's a fake car crash, but to set up to educate people with actors, role players, and then the first responders come in and, uh, and uh, make, make it all happen. Multiple agencies participated in the demonstration today. After the mock car crash, the students piled into the gym for some games and prizes. There was also a powerful message from a speaker who told his personal story of how his brother was killed after he was struck by a drunk driver in 1994. My brother never got to marry his high school sweetheart like I did. But most importantly, my brother never got to sit in a gymnasium and hear a powerful message like you just did. Distracted driving is a problem, and the Minnesota State Patrol has been fantastic at giving out as much information as they can. I was invited here to give an impactful speech, but today it was about the students. Three high schools, including Park Rapids, Nevis, and Laporte, all came out to hear the message today. That's equal to about 550 kids. At the end of the presentation, they were all encouraged to sign their poster and take the pledge to never get distracted behind the wheel. These kids are pledging to not text and drive, to not drive distracted, to not drink and drive, and to make good decisions. So that's, that's why we're here. And those who were involved feel the kids got the message loud and clear. When we talk about fatal crashes, we call it the fatal four. What results in those types of crashes? And that's usually alcohol, distracted driving, unsafe speeds, and lack of seatbelt use. I mean, we target just those four things. And if we can keep bringing that up to them again, hopefully we can really focus on that to make, make the changes and get the education, the information out there. So again, when they get in that vehicle, whether they're driving or passenger, that they do the right thing or they speak up and do the right thing. Reporting in Park Rapids with this week's Golden Apple, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.